Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What the Heck is This? I'm Andrew Reiner. Guess who else is here? I don't know. Who who else is here? That's Kyle it's Hilliard. Me. We're taking a look at Rad Rogers. And uh, look at this interesting message we have. This is like the beginning of Brutal Legend. Yeah, do you want kitty mode where it uh, gets rid of swears and violence? Or do you want uh, for grown-ups oh, seeing it, it all? It gets rid of violence? Blood... Red liquids. Let's do that. Okay. I do actually like bleeped profanity. I think it makes it funnier. Hats bonus. Oh, collectibles. Okay. Oh, you can change your hair. All right. Let's see what this game's about. It's on Xbox right now, Steam. And uh, Interceptor Entertainment's the developer. 3D Realms is the publisher. Kyle, you noticed something in the trailer. Yeah, this character, the dusty sentient console, is uh, John St. John, the guy that plays Duke Nukem. Which 3D Realms. Yeah. We watched a, a trailer, and that was all the research we did. Yeah, cool story so far. But I hate school. I'm not going. I can relate yes, to this. You are, young man. No buts about it. It wouldn't have said butts if it was censored. Uh. <laughs> if I, if you ever want to see that toy of yours again, you'll brush your teeth and go to bed now. Our children will never know the the fear of leaving it's a console a on overnight and going care. to sleep. Turn it and then wondering the next day if, if it's still going to be okay. Right, right. And I don't need to brush my uh, teeth. He's wearing his pants to bed. That's weird. Yeah, his belt. As don't do that. You're going to roll over on it. Yeah, and it hurts. Being a hero and defeating final bosses, he was suddenly awoken. A strange glitch appeared on the TV, and it oh, turn off. Captain N. Oh. He's going in. He tried to turn me off, too. Oh, we're trying to turn it on? I guess this is Jumanji, right? Just oh, pretty much, yeah. Red was sucked into the TV. Yeah, it's Jumanji. <laughs> Captain N, though, right? Yeah, well, Jumanji is the a remake of Captain of N. Is, don't listen to your parents, Welcome to the Jungle, I believe is the subtitle for that movie. All right, I got it. I get, I get it. I understand it. So it's a throwback to Super Nintendo titles, right? Yeah. Oh, Genesis era. That's that's the power glove. NES. It's, ugh. More lore. Is that a loading screen? I don't know. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. It's his origin story. Hey, kid! I said, wakey, wakey. It ain't polite to sleep during a cutscene. Huh? No. Fourth wall is out of here. Get Break next. Yep. Whoa. What is huh. this place? This is the first world, kiddo. Home to the elder tree. Thing is, she stopped taking my calls, and the kids have gone berserk. Let's go pay the old birch a visit, huh? Decent animation on the here, their characters. This. Let's make it dangerous to go alone. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. so Infinite get ammo. Oh, that's nice. So tight. <laughs> Just how I like it. And that, my friend, is how you do a cutscene. Okay. <laughs> okay, there's laughs question mark. <laughs> it's kind of contra E. Collectibles. Oh, Ents. Is it do you have to fight that thing though? We're going to see the, the blood. Oh, there's the blood. We turn that on. I can hit Y button. Oh, who's this little guy? This kind of reminds me of the CDI Zeldas. Holy shit! You're alive. Mom has gone mad. Maybe this will help you on your way. What'd you give us? Did, did she give us anything? I. No. Okay. Cool game. Maybe I go through that door. Actually, let's see. Oh no, it's a window. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Maybe she right, could talk. some health or something. How's it playing? It's not bad. It's nothing special yet, but... Yeah. Seems it, when you, What'd the kids say? Oh, it's tight. When you press a button, things happen. When you push... Here, let's see if I can... Thing. Yeah. 
Can you charge up or anything? No, I'm holding down the button right now. All right. I believe you. I don't think you're lying. This time. Not this time. I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kind of... What? Pixel versus are fine and destroy. Oh, I play. Oh, so you're playing it's like as... Ratchet and Clank. Oops. Okay, so there's the idea that like you're like going into the code of the game yep. or something. That's kind of cool. Like that idea. Hey, you got it. Pizza. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I like how both of us were like, uh, "All right, that that was pretty funny." Congratulations. No. Hey, you got to loop back around. So now you got. To... So that pan was. It was a funny joke there, but I. But we need four of them. I didn't quite follow exactly which direction the pan was going. Yeah, it wasn't a good pan for a joke. Can you get up there? Can you double jump? No double jump. Yeah. Okay. Oh yet you you think there's gonna be more jumps? Okay, and we went down there already, right? And that yeah. just kind of looped us back around. Just being completionist. All right. Yeah. All right. Did the uh... here? Wait, wait, wait. No, I was gonna say maybe it springs you back all the way up to the top. Oh, there you go. There yeah, it is. Yep. Okay. Was it, oh, was kind of safe. Do you think? Do you think the next generation will associate a floppy disk with saving still as we move forward? Like, what is what is saving? What symbol makes you think of saving today? Because, like, people, everyone still uses the floppy disk, but it doesn't really, it doesn't apply. It no should just be a light disk. or a check mark. A check mark, maybe? Because everything just saves automatically these days. Even on, like, Word, Microsoft Word, oh, I, I think hit. it's like a little three and a half floppy disk symbol is the save. Yeah. One. It's old school. Yeah, I mean, we don't physically see anything, right? Like, yeah. They forgot to put a platform here. Come on, let's try to fix it. Okay. What? Do I not go that way? Well, you got to put a platform there because the lazy ass developers didn't put one there. So you got to try to fix it. Okay, secret area. Oh, cheap. Oh, I like this game now. Oh, 10? Yeah. I think it's okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Locate the missing. Did you read that? Are missing you? platforms. Don't no. You don't want to hit that thing. Shoot. Wait. Are you taking are damage when you do when you touch that? Yeah. Oh okay. Oh there it is. That's the platform that you need. So you punched it into existence. Is that what yeah. just happened? Yeah. Okay. It's got those big fists. Can you jump, jump through? Gotta say, kind of fun. Yeah. I, I, it's making me laugh more as we move forward. The first couple of jokes, I was kind of like, Ugh, all right. Except this. Okay, so we got a gem last time. Oh, oh okay. Do so you buy upgrades or something, or are you just getting lives? Yeah, we'll see. 160 of them. I've missed one already. Well, how do you know? I saw it and I didn't go for it. Oh. It was like to the left and I went right. That's a dangerous move. Because now it will haunt you forever. Let's see. Okay, heart back. Yeah, I wonder how deep the well of moves is in weapons. Yeah, I'm assuming you probably get different weapons and stuff, right? Da -da -da -da. It's weird that it didn't launch me up the right height the last time. Maybe <laughs> I screwed it up. Maybe you just instantly started going left or something. There's number two. More pie. You also have 24 out of 50 skulls, whatever that means. There's all sorts of stuff I got. Trophies, time. Sometimes I wish we had a pogo stick for these jump puzzles. Is that a puzzle? Yeah, not really. Maybe is that a hint that you're gonna get What's a this? pogo stick of what, some what kind? What is this? Uh, I don't know. Do I have limited bullets? Oh, did you get a new type of ammo or something? Oh, there's another pie piece. I like his victory pose. It's 
very like Jack and Daxter-y. This is probably the game Naughty Dog wanted to make, but we're too afraid to. Too afraid to? Yeah, like, oops, I should have read that. Breaking yeah, the fourth fun. wall and, oh no. Okay, I can fight. What's this? Oh, you did it. Okay, I destroyed the distortion. There was a gem in there I missed, but oh well. Yum. Yeah, this is a game I could just veg out and play, I think. Yeah. What? Is that a He-Man reference? Oh, so you wait. Okay, so you got... You just gotta hit it fast, right? There it is. That's all four. Let's see what happens. Oh, and you're right there. Oh, Man. Okay. What design? Oh, is that a permanent club now? Yeah, can I switch? Go in there. Complete W1, L1. World 1, level 1. Wow, look at all the achievements. All achievements. I think this is the greatest game ever made. <laughs> Complete level without dying. Oh my gosh. That's a pro one. That's a hard one to get. Yeah, that's probably that's got to probably like less than 1%. I missed hair? Yeah, you didn't get the and hair. And five other... Wow. There was a whole area to the left you didn't explore. Oh my god. This is like a dream for you right here, right? Like seeing a map like this. Anytime <laughs> you just start exciting. freaking out. Yeah, it's kind of... It is nice. I do like I do like being able to... That was a good song. Levels. Yeah, music is good. I think running right this game might be kind of fun. I don't want to speak for you. I'm not playing. What the heck is this? Is really gone the wrong way. Like I it know. used to be just terrible games. So now we're we found. We kind of find stuff we like. What did we find? We found. Well, we found Iconoclast. We discovered we were the first people in the world to discover Iconoclast. Yeah, that's a that's a great game. I, that's going to be probably you know we'll see how the rest of the year pans out. But I think it'll probably be on my top ten favorite games of the year list. I like the that other game, game in that episode. Uh, Full Metal Furies. Furies. Yeah, is really good. Yeah. We gotta play more crap. Uh, and you know what? I have another game that you might like. All right, Kyle. This is the station. The station. The that looks like uh, Deep Space Nine. Right that's there. right. Is that what that? That's what the station was called, right? Yep. The this Deep is a Space prequel. Nine. Oh. Oh. Got anything else to talk about? Because it's got quite the load. It's got quite the load. Uh, I've been meaning to go back to Deep Space Nine. People say it was ahead of its time. And I just want a list of like, you know, 30 episodes or so that I should watch. I don't want to watch the whole thing. I just want to watch the highlights. And I think someone put a list like that together once and I saved it in my phone. And that was like two years ago. So I have not made progress on that personal promise to revisit Deep Space Nine. Yet. Kelly and I, my wife and I watched all of the Star Trek TV shows. Yeah? All of them. Are you watching like the over the course of like three years. Recently? Or yeah. Like when like, they were airing? Well, I mean like recently as of like seven years ago oh okay but you weren't Six watching them ago. together as they aired no 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 okay no. i watched next generation and deep space nine and then i then i fell off pretty hard i watched a good bit of voyager though and then i never watched any enterprise this game is great for podcast talkers for podcast talkers yeah you you hit start and then you just do your podcast <laughs> and then an hour later you get to play because uh, it's still loading yeah this game is making a bad impression so far but, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Ooh, the bar is filled. So this is on PS4, Xbox One, and PC? The station. The How many millions station. of hours have been spent studying space in the pursuit of finding life in the universe? Two million. So what would happen if we found it? Not bacteria or an invertebrate, but an entire sentient alien civilization. That'd be cool. Questions we've been asking since the beginning of time could finally be answered. I don't think we were answering, asking those questions since the beginning of time. Uh, we've been Mars asking Saturday. for a while. Imagine the debate that would start. Fear is blinding us. Everything our society has done has led us to this very moment. We can't ignore this. What safety and security will be found in contacting a violent alien race? Is this worth risking our safety? Okay, our so they security? found an alien race, but the alien race is fighting amongst itself. On board an undetectable mm -hmm. space station is sent to research the alien world. Well, that's kind of an interesting Halfway idea. Through the mission, the space station's communication, navigation, stealth, everything 
mysteriously shuts down. This has never happened in science fiction before. <laughs> we better go check it out. I will say I like the idea of us as humans, like spying on a, a civilization. That's kind of an interesting idea. That's kind of that's kind of a Star Trekky idea, right? The Prime Directive. Yep. Exactly. Kyle, you know your stuff. I do. Guess who developed this? Uh, Gene Roddenberry. He's dead. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I I don't know. Is it, it? Will I be surprised by the answer? The station. Wait. So the develop the studio is called the station. Yeah. And they made a game called the station. Yeah. Do you know who published it? Uh, EA. Gene Roddenberry. Gene Roddenberry. No, the station. From the grave. Oh, station. The station. Well, you know. Hey, you consistency. Consistency. Is this? Uh, can you play this in VR? I don't know. Doesn't it kind of feel like like it's like? Hey, this game could be played in VR. Well, Does it feel like that right now? Are you just saying it because it's first person? I think because you're just kind of moving slowly. <laughs> You were in a ship. You're not you were like, docking. Yeah, but like you're not rushing through space. You have not seen me move yet. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, these are all valid points that you're making. Not going to pretend they're not. All right, so that's a door that you have to shoot with a gun in order for it to open. Because that's what that's a Metroid door, if I ever saw one. I mean, VR, you'd immediately be like, where's my body? Welcome to the Aspile. Aspile. Excuse me? Oh, my gosh. Do you know what that is backwards? Lapes. Uh. Okay, Kyle. <laughs> Picking this up. Initiating scan. Cool. Puzzles. All right, I like puzzles. Scan complete. Have I've told you that one of my favorite genres is shit Augmented going wrong in space, right? It's a good genre. I like that. It's one of my favorites too. Oh, this from oh the Axiom. That the Axiom is the uh, ship from Wall E. This is very comfortable. This looks like Tacoma. It's very alien with the glowy bits, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. also ferns, you know, like it reminds me of a living room. The pointy bits. Look at all this stuff. Why does this, oh why does this remind me of Tacoma right away? Is it just because- Can I walk on this? Uh, Activate yeah. log. I'm hitting it. Oh. To the critics of this mission, I say it's not sufficient you voice your concerns of danger scarf? or ethics. Ooh, if you scarf. are against progress in this moment, you must acknowledge that our very understandings yeah. of biology, <laughs> chemistry, physics, even religion are thrown into question, and you stand in our way. Was it Monument of the Void? Yeah. So you're picking stuff up. This is a good time. Beautiful. You know, the, like space is literally behind you, and you're like looking at a picture. And it's yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really dark out right now. It's very dense. Yeah, is space this... is just super dark. Space isn't that dense, is it? With stars? Well, those would be lit up a little more. Oh, maybe this is like blocking the light maybe. and subduing it. Because I mean, that's a lot of stars. That's a lot. Of oh stars. my god. See, like I went. It doesn't. It does. There's not that many stars, are there? What was the last time I looked at the sky? At night. <laughs> it's been a while. I, I can't remember the last time I actually saw a star. There's so much smog and stuff. Yeah. And pollution. We should get rid of that crap. Oh, fish. Oh. Axiom. Yeah. So you can pick up everything, it looks like. What is this? It's a fruit. It's not. Kiwi. I mean, Pixar doesn't own, like, the word axiom. No. Or anything. But <gasps> it's. Hold it's, on. Uh oh. It's a little weird that the space station is called the Axiom, right? When Pixar, their space station in Wally was called Ax the Axiom as well, right? That's weird. Maybe they're doing that intentionally. Maybe. Exceptional. Final right? score Mila beat Aiden. Ooh, they're playing this game. Aiden got his butt kicked. Oh, so just a lot of discovery so far. Full bar. Oh, that sounds... Hey, did you see that Chris Pratt movie, Passengers? No, I heard it was not very good. I liked so I it. Skipped it. I liked it. Yeah. Where he wakes up early. Yeah, because the trailers, he's all alone for thirty years or something. The trailers made it seem like that that uh, okay, there was a mystery power. for what what woke them up, right? But then it, it's it's that's not really what the movie's about. It's not really a mystery, right? Ah, uh, you got to watch the movie. All right, all right. Look at these fish. Those are cool. 
So it looks like we were on the alien planet and we got some of this stuff, right? These aren't from Earth. Oh, yeah. You guys totally would have grabbed those. Wait, so you went down to the planet? You were just supposed to be spying on them. We oh, had wait. an agreement. Hereditary. Offspring won't hear it. Yes. Hmm. What's this? Is that a puzzle? Swing or drag. Oh. Oh. Is Jonathan, this, blow this, your heart out. I was about to say, are we playing The Witness now? Is that what's happening? Yo, this game just turned to the witness. What? Oh, uh oh. There's a person. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Why? Go get what? her. What? Go, go get her. What? Okay. Okay. Did you guys read this? Uh, an ideal doors that open. It's an old station. Da da da. Okay, we did that. We we got Just it. Just want to make sure you're getting all the lore if you're watching this. Augmented reality menu. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's like Dead Space. Got a map. Inventory. Audio logs. So this is. So this is, really is kind of a lot like Tacoma. You're just like sort of ex exploring this to station to try to figure out what happened. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Oh, oh it just stays there. That's cool. I do like. I like when UI is like integrated into the game like that. What oh. madness is the? Oh no! It's a no. dryer, right? Like literally. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that shoe is gonna be so clean. <laughs> just making sure there's no foot in there. <laughs> that's you know that's a good uh, that's a good thing to check. Soaps. Oh, uh, some soaps. Nice. Very nice. Can't grab the boxes. Well, what do you need them for? Uh, very fluid. I will give the game that much. I think it plays well. Oh. Oh, put the shampoo in the dryer. Can you turn it back on? Moment of truth video game. Oh, hey, my. 10 out of 10. Cool. Yeah, can I put more stuff in there? Yeah. Put can some we get more the stuff boot in back in there? Oh, yeah. Put the boot back in there. Can you go get a glass of water or something? Sorry, this is all you're going to see now because yeah, uh, we, we figured out get, the game within the game. We have to get as much stuff in there as we can, for oh, sure. Give me, give me. What else is in there? Right, hold on, let's get some more. Uh, sure, right. the aliens are a bit savage, but I see no need oh, to condemn some, them for some it. Pants. Think about us. Our people crawled out of a violent past, so I wager they too can change. Don't you? I doubt it. The past is always present. Oh, you were talking to the aliens? Hmm. There you go. This is important. If you don't get an achievement for this. Oh, what's that? Oh, a book? Is it the same one? Fear and Taming. Is that like da, da, da. the future version of Fear and Loathing? Oh, man! Look at that. That's pretty great. It's little details. We're not done. <laughs> you think we're done? We're not done. What do we got here? What does it say? Suit is signed. Oh, these are like everyone's. I guess they put in their initials to check things out or something. That's cool. I'm into that. What do we got here? There was more stuff in that locker. Right? Can you? Oh, there's another boot. And uh, was that some cologne? I'm more curious about this, but I can't click on it. Books. There's the other boot. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow! This really is. This really is like the witness. Oh, okay. You know, I bet. I wonder if you can look at their signatures and kind of <gasps> emulate them. Um. Maybe. Seems like a pretty easy. Puzzle, if that's what it is. Eh, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the puzzle. I don't think hard, I solved it. Man. Okay. What? Gotta tell you, man, I'm having fun just interacting. What? Okay. Whoa. Oh, don't run. That clearly shakes the whole station. <laughs> Welcome, Aiden. Hey, what's up? Oh, wait. Are you our Aiden? Or does it just say that to anybody? I think I'm Aiden then, right? Okay. Well, no, because aren't you just here to, like, explore it, so to speak? 
Oh, maybe. It like, is. you're not a... Let's go in a different room and see what happens. Because maybe it'll be like, welcome, Jennifer, or something. Hopefully that's exactly what it says. Oh, there's a hammer. You should put that in the drawer, too. That's a nice hammer. You want to go run that to the drawer real quick? <laughs> it's nicely detailed. Yeah. What? Well, Kibo will keep you... keep. Kibo will keep dad safe. Oh, reminding me of my humanity. Oh, dang it. Not my humanity. There is a lot of stuff you can put in the dryer. Oh. Oh, weird. Hello. What's going on here, buddy? Are you a little typing monster? Uh, but drop the bottle on his head. Would you like to play a game? That's a nice detail you rarely see in games. The jacket on the chair, something humans do a lot. Yeah, yeah. What do we got? Cigarette butts? Soup? Throw it in the uh, throw in the dryer. Oh, it's just empty glass. You really just want me to keep going back there? Yeah, I want waffles. You to, waffles never breaks down. All right. I never like space. It's cold, lonely, and gives a man too much time to think. Time to think about what you've done and what you shouldn't have. Mm. All right, Mr. Depressed. What'd you guys do to those um, poor aliens? I'm guessing this is pretty much the game. Just learning. At this point, just walking around, kind of like Tacoma. Yeah, it seems, it's just very... Whoa. Feeling a lot of Tacoma in this game, for sure. But it is a nicely uh, realized world. I, I really do think this is fascinating to kind of walk around here. We'll see how much unique geometry they have in each room, but yeah. this looks like a big puzzle. Or maybe you gotta get all those things to put in there. It's gonna be a puzzle. Maybe Expect like it. throughout the game, yeah. Oh my god. Pre-soldered. Too smart for me. And here's some more of these robots. I have a bad feeling about these things. Oh, that seems like a cool thing, right? Can you lift stuff up with that? Can you use that to pull stuff out of the wall? Well, this is just the cover, right? No, it's like a magnet tool. Try to go pull something out of the wall with it. Well, there's a gun. I'm trying to pull. Oh, you think this stuff? Yeah, like you just attach it to that and like pull it out, right? Seems kind of like an awkward way to do it, though. There you go, Kyle. Uh, okay, go put it in the drawer. <laughs> uh, so this is the station. Uh, a brief look at it. But uh, we didn't make much progress, but we made it to a lot of rooms. We saw a lot of rooms. And we found the booze. Put it in the dryer. Can you just toss it? Can you, like, run? Show just, sexual can... tension. Oh, all right. Silas and Mila. Let's do two drinks. Let's see. I can't stop playing this one either, Kyle. <laughs> I'm, I'm engaged. I'm intrigued. We got to start playing more crappy games. All right, Kyle, what do you think? Do you want to continue playing? Do I want to keep Rad playing? Rad Rogers. This? Uh, yeah, it looks pretty fun. The humor is kind of hit or miss, but it, I like how it breaks the fourth wall. It looks, it looks fun. I'd, I'd keep playing this. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I agree with you. The humor is hit or miss, but it's better than our humors. And uh, that's true. I, uh, yeah, I like what I've played so far. It's different. It's retro, and uh, you know, it's just fun. So yes, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Cool. What do you think? What do I think? Do I want to keep playing this? Yes. Uh, yeah, I I think so. I, I bounced off Tacoma pretty hard. Like, I played the first hour or two and didn't really feel super compelled to keep going. And yeah, either I, did I. I imagine that could happen here, but I it looks cool. I, I like what I'm seeing. Like I said, I like go stuff going wrong in space. It's a video keep game. turning off the power. What about you? You want to? That keep, seems like a bad idea. You want to keep playing this thing? Yeah, I do. I uh, I'm intrigued. I want to see where it goes. You might be right with the Tacoma thing, but first taste, not bad. Uh, definitely intriguing. The whole alien connection definitely yes. sells it more than maybe Tacoma did for me. I like I like the idea of humans spying on aliens. Uh, but that's what the heck is this? Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again in another episode.